Hello everybody, this is Graphic Tools Lab. How have you been? In this video we will learn about utilizing Photoshop Omake Halftone Text. I'll show you 3 different types of text, which apply the halftone effect in this video. This is very easy, and it takes you a couple of seconds. Before I get started, I just want to say, if you want more of tutorials make sure to hit the thumbs up button, or comment and subscribe. That's very encouraging. Ok then, let's get started. In this video we will use Photoshop CC. Follow my steps slowly. For the duration of video, I already typed text. I used Helvetica Bold. I created this document by going to File, New. Make the width 2100 and height 700 pixels. The resolution is 300. Pick RGB color mode. The background color is white. Then I clicked create for this canvas size. First go to background layer and unlock it. Press Ctrl or Command J twice to duplicate layer. Click layers with shift press and hit merge layers. Go to filter. Pixelet, color halftone. Pixel radius is 13, and I typed in 0 degree. Click OK. First effect has applied. Are you wonder why we merge layers? If you apply effect just on black color text. Because this black text doesn't have gradient, halftone effect applies like this. OK let's go back. Go to Filter, Blur, Motion Blur. The angle is 0 degree, the distance is 50 pixels. Go to Filter, and click Motion Blur. Rotate it to 90 degrees. Click Layers with Control Press, and select Merge Layers. Go to Filter, Pixelate, Color Halftone. Click OK. Go to Blending Mode, and hit Multiply. Select Text Layer, and click Blending Options. Hit Gradient Overlay. I'll use Black to White Gradient. I check reverse. The style is linear, the angle is 0 degree. Click layers with control or command press, and select merge layers. Go to filter, color halftone. The size of dots are different, because of gradient. Go to blending mode, and hit multiply. Now let's change the color of dots. Click layers with shift press, and select merge layers. Go to select, color range. Hit white area. Click OK. Press delete to remove white area. Create a new layer. Change layer position. Select layer A, and open blending options. Go to color overlay. I typed in 260 CFB. Select layer 1. Press G to open paint bucket tool. I'll use black color. Go to transparent area, now click it. Now we have done, this is super simple. So that's all for graphic tool slab, utilize what you learnt and make awesome images. Please keep an eye on more videos to come, thank you so so much for watching this tutorial.